It was a unique police chase. Instead of a car, police were in hot pursuit of a semi-tractor trailer. And that started, it started in Whiting, Indiana, cruised along for miles until it came to a halt in Hammond, Indiana. That's where the driver was tased. WV and Sean Lewis is covering this story for us, and he's live with the latest, Sean. Hi there, Michael. We still don't know why this guy led the police on a nearly hour-long police chase that started in Whiting, went through many different communities, including some in Illinois, and then wound up here in Hammond. What we do know, though, is that he did, with this 18-wheeler, smash into a number of vehicles before finally coming to a stop on a quiet residential roadway. Orchard Drive between Kentucky and Idaho, the endpoint of a 51-minute two-state pursuit. Neighbors saw and heard it all. First I heard a helicopter and then another one. And uh, then we heard a bunch of sirens and they got out with guns and they kept telling them, give it up, give it up. He kept revving up the engine and he had no tires. They were all like that. Just a few miles away, when the semi-truck actually came down through here, Billy Sampson showed us the grooves in the pavement caused by the bare wheels of that big rig after police deployed stop sticks further down the road. But the driver kept going. And police brought out their guns. And the police officers began to just fire on the tires of the truck. And um, and I thought they may stop him right there, but he just kept on driving. You what know? did it sound like? Oh, well, it was loud. I mean, it sounded like a war zone for a couple of minutes. You know, just all this, just all the shots and stuff going on. You know, and it, we, and it took us everybody in the neighborhood here by surprise because we didn't hold them on. At least two police squads and several other cars were damaged during the pursuit that began in Whiting and went through East Chicago, Calumet City, Lansing, and finally Hammond. Police aren't saying why the driver, a 44-year-old man from Jacksonville, Florida, took off when police in Whiting first tried to make the traffic stop. But right now, that man is facing felony reckless driving charges. The only injuries, his own, from when police used a taser to take him into custody. Definitely more excitement than our neighborhood's seen in a while, and I'm just glad that we weren't caught in the middle of it. Still no ID on that driver right now until formal charges will be filed, and I'm told to expect even more charges as this investigation continues. That's the latest here live in Hammond tonight. Sean Lewis, WGN News. Quite the story. Thank you, Sean.